in this example, we're given a table of all kinds of different values and asked to find the derivative of the quantity f of x times g of x divided by x, all evaluated at x equals 4. So I personally think these table problems are kind of fun. They give us a chance to explore derivatives um, in a unique way. So let's do this derivative. We're going to need the quotient rule because we have quotient here. Low d high minus high d low over the square and away we go. So let's call this whole thing here, let's call that whole thing f, capital, big F of x. Okay, so then down here we can say um, f, big F prime of x. All right, so we hit it with the derivative low x d high. Okay, so f of x, g of x, okay, prime minus high f of x times g of x d low. Well, derivative of low is simply 1 over the square, and away we go, all over x squared. OK, well, now we need the product rule on f of x times g of x. There's our product rule, a b prime equals a prime b plus b prime a. OK, just so we have enough room, I'm going to move this up a little bit. I don't want to have to scroll down, so then I'll lose my table. OK, there we go. So now we hit it with the product rule. All right, so this becomes x times the quantity, all right? f prime of x, g of x, plus g prime of x, f of x, there's the product rule, minus f of x times g of x, okay, times 1 still. Oh, and this, this x is multiplying all of that expansion there for the product rule all over x squared. Okay, and this we want to evaluate. So now all our derivatives are done, and we want to evaluate it at x equals 4. So we're only using this 4 column, which is kind of nice. So this whole table, we actually only need these values here over in the 4 column. So let's go through this piece by piece and just start plugging things in here. So x is 4. f prime of 4... Okay, so now I'm, I'm finding f prime of x. I'm going over to 4, so it's 1. So there's 4. f prime of 4 must be 1. So we have 1 here times g of 4. Okay, g of 4 is 3. Okay, plus g prime of 4. g prime of 4 is 1 times f. Okay, f of 4, 2, minus f of 4, which is 2 again, times g of 4, which is 3. 3, and then of course here we have x squared, so this whole thing becomes 4 squared. All right, let's clean this up. So we have 4 times the quantity, 1 times 3 plus 1 times 2 minus 2 times 3 all over 4 squared which is 16 so 4 times 5 minus 6 all over 16 well that's 20 minus 6 14 over 16 or running out of room equals how about 7 eighths and that is our final answer. Draw a little box around it. Gives it a sense of finality. There we go. All of that, we get 7 eighths. So just chase these values around the table and see what you get.